I love these summer rainy days in the mountains. The rain replenishes the parched earth. And it coats each leaf with life-giving nourishment. It fills the mountain creeks with cool, rushing water. The cycle of nature is so visible here. and a beautiful thing to observe. Especially from inside the cozy cottage. These days I cherish. I can't work in the garden so I focus on creating a cozy and a welcoming space inside. And of course, every day starts with coffee. Because my husband leaves for a long day at work early, I always like to send him off with a hearty and filling breakfast. I always make an omelet and I'll add whatever meat we have on hand on the side. And my favorite seasoning, Pennsylvania pepper. It's salt free and so delicious. I'll link that below in case you're interested. After he leaves, I clean everything up just like my grandmother did. Having my kitchen straight and organized just makes it easier for me to accomplish other things. Today, I found some fabric in my stash that I wanted to make an apron from. So I cut it out, sewed it up, and pressed all the stitching before hanging it in my kitchen. I had something really special in mind with some other fabric I had, and I knew this pretty stripe would be perfect with it. I like to hang aprons on my pantry door so they're within reach, but also because they add a pretty accent in a kitchen that has mostly hard surfaces. 
This beautiful vintage fabric is what inspired my summer refresh. A friend gave me these curtains several years ago, but I had not found a way to use them. Then the inspiration hit and I went with it. As always, I made a sink skirt and a window shade to show off this beautiful print. I just love the grays and pinks with the touches of green and cranberry. And this vintage print is perfect in my kitchen. Pretty vintage fabric calls for pink gooseberry pyrex. These are some of my favorite mixing bowls and I love having them out on the open shelves within easy reach. I like to carry whatever color palette I'm using all around my room, so a pink taffeta remnant made the perfect table runner to coordinate with the vintage fabric. My oil lamps are always on the table, and my Cherokee River Cane egg basket filled with magnolia leaves from Mother's Tree makes a pretty and simple centerpiece. Even in the summer, our power goes out occasionally, so these lamps provide welcome light just as they did here a hundred years ago. Another thing I do seasonally for a new look is change out my dinnerware. My mother and I both love beautiful dishes and this particular pattern, Franciscan Desert Rose, was her grandmother's pattern. There's just no need to leave pretty china like this in a cabinet somewhere. It needs to be used, and I want to enjoy it every day, not hide it away. Now, my kitchen is ready and refreshed for summer with just a few things that I either made or moved around. I really got a whole new look with things I had here. The kitchen really is the heart of our home and a place where we all gather to talk and eat or just enjoy each other's company. I want it to be pretty as well as functional because whether I'm canning tomatoes, making pickles, or just making my son a grilled ham and cheese for lunch, I still like being in a space that makes me feel inspired and being able to create that space without spending money makes it even more meaningful for me. I'm surrounded by things I love, things that belong to family members, and those things make me happy. It makes me feel connected to my home, to this land, to my family, and it didn't cost me anything.
I hope you enjoyed that look at how I decorate and refresh my kitchen for summer. These are things that I actually do in my whole house. I move things around a lot, and then when I move things around, I'll find something that I didn't even know I had or had forgotten about. So I would like to encourage you to go look in the china cabinet, look in your cabinets, see if maybe there's a piece you've not used in a while that might inspire you. Then go to your linen closet and see if there's a tablecloth or tea towels or even sheets that can be sewn into a sink skirt and curtains. That can give you a whole new look and you will not have spent any money at all. I always say, use what you have and make it special. 